percent and a half odd, and Reliance Industries, that comes out with numbers on Friday, is down around 1.2 percent. But let's get talking to a couple of outperformers within this market. That's Dabur India, or rather, a lot of the defensives have been doing well. Dabur India, in specific, has picked up around 12 odd percent in 2012 itself. Uh, Sunil Dugal, the CEO of the company, joins in. Hi, Mr. Dugal. Thanks very much for joining in. And first, congratulations. We understand that you'll have crossed the billion dollar turnover mark in uh, FY12. Just give us a sense of how exactly has FY12 done in terms of key parameters such as volume, pricing, margins, and what can we extrapolate it into FY13 as guidance? Uh, we'll be declaring our numbers uh, in, uh, on the 30th of this month. Uh, but before that, thank you very much uh, for uh, uh, us achieving this uh, milestone. We are very proud of it, and it was done sometime uh, in the month of March. Uh, we would have done it much earlier uh, had not the rupee fallen so sharply, but nevertheless, uh, we are one of the few companies to have achieved this milestone, and we are proud of it. So the year has been a mixed one. I think it's been pretty good in terms of our top line delivery. The numbers uh, have been strong, both in terms of volume as well as, of course, the pricing component. Um, on the other hand, the downside has been that the margin pressures have continued unabated. Uh, and uh, the inflation as well as the weak rupee is both fueling uh, this compression of margins. And uh, there doesn't seem to be any near-term uptick in the margin profile. So it's a mixed bag. Overall, we are pretty happy with the year which has gone by because we do believe that the top line is critically important to deliver long-term sustainable profitability, and that's where we have scored. Uh, but do the margin pressures at least look like abating, uh, even if not improving? Can we say they are, uh, uh, you know, at their lowest now, don't get worse? I don't think they'll get worse. The question is that how long will it take for them to improve? Uh, we did expect or at least hope for improvement in this quarter. Uh, that doesn't seem to be happening. Oil prices continue to remain uh, uh, very high. The rupee continues to be beaten down. So, so no relief this quarter and uh, it's anybody's guess whether there would uh, be some relief in the next. Now, having said that, I don't think there will be any further deterioration of margins. I think we've kind of almost bottomed out unless something very dramatic happens. So uh, the, the challenge would be to regain our margin profile, uh, which was much better a couple of years ago, uh, in the shortest possible period of time. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Dugal, what exactly is the expenditure with regards to advertising that we can expect in FI13? How much do you expect to scale it up to? And what would you think would be the impact on volumes and margins? Mm -hmm. Well, I think we would be maintaining a spend in the region of 14%, which would be higher than around 12 and 13, which we would have done last year. So there will be definitely more investment in the business, um, and uh, because we do expect a certain amount of uh, uh, reduction in the rate of inflation, so we'll be able to fuel our, uh, our, our, our advertising budgets a little bit higher. Uh, in terms of volumes, I think the volume growth, we expect ours to be robust, even though the Nielsen numbers do indicate significant slowdown in the rate of growth uh, for, the, for the industry as a whole uh, mm. compared to what it was a year from now. But I think we've done our internal uh, distribution reorganizations, a huge rural outreach program. So we're expecting our volume growth to be uh, in the same region, I mean, actually higher than what, uh, what we did last year on the back of slightly lower price increases and, like I said, a better distribution uh, outreach. Can you extrapolate a little more on that? Because we are coming out of a very healthy uh, harvest season, mm -hmm. uh, almost record, both yes. for Kharif and Rabi. So uh, what has been the Nielsen expectation in terms of uh, uh, rural demand and what has been your own? Uh, what will you extrapolate for FY13? Yeah. Well, I... The current Nielsen numbers, and that's the best data source we have, do indicate, like I said, significant slowdown in demand let's, compared to what it was 12 months ago. Now, this could be a temporary aberration, and on the back of what you said, uh, good, uh, good output, agri-output, this could reverse, and we could see uh, strong volume growth re-emerging. On the other hand, uh, you know, there's, there's, it's a possibility that this would not happen, in which case we would be further challenged in terms of delivering volume growth. But I think as far as we are concerned, uh, we don't see uh, volume growth as really being a challenge. It's really the margin uh, mm. which would, uh, which would uh, test us uh, much more. Mm. Okay. What is the latest you have or on the radar in terms of launches? Uh, we understand your almond oil has done very well uh, and that you're uh, eyeing the food category very closely. What's on the table? Mm -hmm. A lot of 
new products will be on the table. I think far more than what we did last year. We'll be really channelizing a lot of our uh, spends, extra spends, which I spoke about earlier, into new product introduction, into fueling innovation. And I think uh, there will be new um, products emerging from our innovation funnel in, in all the categories in which we operate. Uh, you said uh, you mentioned hair oils, and that's one one area which we are very obviously very interested in. Mm. We'll be looking at the food uh, space a little bit more closely, and even space outside the beverage, uh, which which is dominant in our portfolio, and also healthcare. So I think uh, innovation would happen across the whole uh, product uh, uh, spectrum, but uh, perhaps more in uh, healthcare and food and beverage mm. uh, than in say home care. Mm. Uh, Mr. Dukha, just break up what we can expect in terms of revenue growth or in percentage terms for the domestic business as well as your international business. More emphasis on your international business as well in terms of what, you can, what we can see in Africa. Well, uh, the domestic business we are hoping would grow in the mid-teens, in the low to mid-teens. I think that is a fair expectation given the constraints in terms of uh, slackening of demand, etc. The international business obviously would grow ahead and we are looking at the high teens or uh, maybe you know in, into the 20s. Uh, so the blended growth would be perhaps um, in the mid to high teens. Um, so I think uh, this time it would be fueled more by volume and less by uh, prices than it was last year. Last year the bl 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 blend was around two thirds uh, price and one third volume and this year is likely to reverse. So that's what the outlook uh, as we see it is still early days. but. Mm -hmm. uh, we do, we do think it will be a satisfactory year for us. All right. We'll leave it at that, Mr. Dugal. Thank you very much uh, for joining us and congratulations once again for reaching that magical Thank number. You. Dabur is a $1 billion company. Let's take a break. We'll come back uh, and track uh, the global commodity space. We've seen some uh, retracement of prices. David Linux of Fat Profits. Oh.